What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today is one that I am super excited to share with all of you and I know you probably think, Zach, you say that all the time, but trust me, today's a big one. For those of you that are new to the channel, I already said it, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping and I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not already. So we're going to start today's video off with a little bit of a statement. Uh, common sense fact, <laughs> maybe it makes more sense. This here is North America. North America is home to a lot of species of native fish. They live kind of all over the place. Some of you might know this. I personally have figured this out through my years of keeping fish. A lot of these fish make fantastic pets for your home aquarium. Things like bluegill, bass, darters, even catfish, if you have the room, can make some awesome pets. Well, me personally, I love to keep these native fish. Lately, however, I've learned that if it has teeth and an attitude, I want to keep it. Last thing I'm going to say before we get going on this video is there are a lot of people on YouTube. There are a lot of fish keepers on YouTube. A lot of people have some unbelievable collections of native fish. And I love watching their stuff and I'm not trying to knock any of them. Trust me, I love you. But today, with this video, I am officially staking my claim as having the best collection of North American predator fish, native fish, on all of YouTube. If you're going to make a claim like that, a claim to having one of the most impressive collections of North American native fish species, at least predatory fish species, then you got to put your money where your mouth is and you got to back that claim up. And that's exactly what I did by ordering oh, this big old box from Jonah's Aquariums. So Jonah's Aquariums, some of you might know if you've been with the channel for a little while, they have some pretty cool fish. They are the ones that actually sold me this little Florida gar here. They sold me some bullheads. They sold me the walleye. Just an awesome place if you need native fish that you really don't find in fish stores. Definitely check them out. I'll put all their information down below. So what's in the box, I'm sure you're wondering. Well, I can only describe it as being the biggest, the meanest, and one of the most aggressive North American fish species there is, and I have one in this box. Let's open it. Oh, I am excited for this one, but uh, you know, it's it's one thing for me to just sit here and say that I have the most impressive collection of uh, native predatory fish, but uh, let's ask a guy quick who knows his native fish. So yeah, I mean, you can't just take my word for it. I, I'm just some guy with, you know, some earrings sitting on YouTube, but so I went out and I found an expert, somebody that knows a thing or two about native fish and you know, he's, he's seen a couple of them and what's up guys? So. I'm trying to tell people that I have one of the most impressive collections of like North American predatory fish on YouTube. And, right, right. And so tell the people like why they can believe you more than me. Like uh -huh. what's your credentials? Well, I'm not an expert per se, but I do fish for a living. I make these fishing videos and I travel the world and most of the United States. So I'm doing freshwater fishing in almost every single video. I fish for bass kind of specifically, but it's kind of branched into just about anything that'll Oh be. yeah, just, yeah, anything that you can find. Pretty much. Um, so, like, what are some of the more aggressive fish that you've caught in your day? Mm. See, that's pretty much almost exclusively what I target are the more aggressive okay. because those are the most fun to me. But largemouth bass, yep, of course. I've got that. You do have that. Yep. Um, Smallmouth bass, which might be even more aggressive than the largemouth. We have two of those. Perfect. Um, walleye, of course. Yep. They get big, big teeth. Two of those. Um, pike, pickerel yeah. type. Fish. Mm -hmm. Got the little pickerel. Got the pickerel. So what would you say is like 
the number one most aggressive predatory fish? Now I'd probably say like largemouth and smallmouth, but then this last year I started to get into a little bit more like musky fish. Okay. And those things, they get giant, they got big teeth, and they'll eat yep. giant baits, which yep. I love. Perfect. So like, if somebody hypothetically had a muskie in like an aquarium, you'd say that would probably put them like most aggressive predatory not, fish keeping collection on YouTube? Yeah, not many people do. I don't know if anyone has one, to be honest. But yeah, I would say that put it over the top. I have one. I bought a muskie, and you saw that clip of Ben pulling one of these muskie out of a local lake. That thing was over 40 inches. These things get absolutely massive. So I'm sure you're probably thinking, Zach, you're crazy. Why would you get a muskie? Well, muskie are a fish that I've always wanted to keep. It's a fish a lot of you guys tell me to keep. And honestly, I have the ability to keep a muskie for quite some time. For you see, after the 55, I have 150 gallon he can go in. After the 150 gallon, I have 600 gallons that he can go in. And then 1,200 gallons after that. And for those of you who do think maybe I'm a little nuts for uh, buying a fish that gets this big, don't worry. He can actually grow out to a few feet in that pool. That circular nature actually will give him a better life, I'll say it that way than if I was gonna put him in like an aquarium or anything kind of rectangular or square. Once he outgrows that pond, I still have a plan. So don't worry, I am thinking of the health of the fish. This is not just some kind of YouTube gimmick like, oh, look at the big fish that I bought. No, health of the fish will always come first on my channel. He's gonna be out of this 55 into a bigger tank in like a week, honestly, because He's only about seven inches and he is too big for that 55. It's been a while actually since I put this guy in. It's been about a week. I still haven't seen him feed. I got close and I caught the tail end on camera for you using my phone. As he settles in and actually as I move him out of this 55 gallon and into larger tanks, He's gonna come out of his shell and he's gonna eat, and so we're gonna be able to do some really, really cool things with this fish. So I hope you guys are excited. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited or if you think I'm nuts for taking on the challenge of keeping such a big fish. So what do you think, man? Like, I told you I was thinking about getting it, but you didn't know coming in today that this is what I ordered. Uh uh, that's, it's really awesome. And like you were saying, this guy will grow super, super fast. Yep. I know a lot of people that have tried to keep them, or a couple people that have tried to keep muskies in the mm -hmm. past, they outgrow their tank super quick. Yep. But there's one guy that's got the room for it and bigger tanks you can put it in. It's this guy right here. So I'm excited to see how this guy grows. Yeah, and, and he'll, some of the feeding opportunities too. Definitely gonna have some cool feeding videos. But I think it's safe to say, I mean, I don't wanna put words in your mouth, but if I was running for the office of having like king of native predators, right you would vote for... I endorse this guy right here with my vote. Yes! <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We had some fun with the green screen here, this sheet that I bought and used duct tape for. Uh, hope you guys enjoy when I kind of mess around with some of the special effects and stuff like that. I have a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed being able to share this musky experience and showing it to Ben of Milk and Fishing. Check his channel out if you don't know. Jonah's Aquarium, if you need some native fish, they are the absolute best place to buy those from. And yeah, this muskie is something that I've wanted for a really long time and I'm really excited to be able to share the growth and everything with you guys. It's just something that you don't see that often. And you know, I'm excited to take this trip with all of you. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching, and until the next video, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>